Acumatica's Material Requirements Planning, or MRP module, is a powerful planning tool that enables manufacturers to satisfy demand while maintaining optimal inventory levels. The MRP module allows you to manage supply and demand in one centralized location. Acumatica will provide a supply plan recommendation for you to create purchase orders, production orders, and transfer orders to replenish inventory. Acumatica's MRP module calculates its supply plan based on a number of sources of demand, including forecasts, master production schedules, existing sales orders and production orders, reorder points, and safety stock. Lead time is also factored in to ensure a just-in-time plan based on your specific supply and demand requirements. Within Acumatica's inventory module, you can maintain your finished goods, sub-assemblies, and component parts, and determine if those items should be factored into your MRP supply plan calculation or not. The Material Requirements Planning Workspace serves as a launching point for the Material Planner, where they can manage and create forecasts, master production schedules, run MRP exceptions, and of course, run your supply plan or the MRP display. A regeneration function is also included so that you can regenerate your MRP supply plan as needed or on an automated schedule. Let's take an MRP example that uses a forecasted item. Here, we've set up an item to be forecasted on a monthly basis. We would like it to forecast a quantity of 200 pounds for the first quarter of the year. I have also marked this forecast to be dependent, meaning that if any sales orders come into Acumatica during the time of this forecast, we will consume the quantity on those sales orders from this forecasted amount. Acumatica is now going to give me a supply plan that will help me understand when I need to purchase the component items to go into this finished good in order to have them just in time to manufacture the finished item itself. Here's a quick picture of the bill of materials for the item that we just entered the forecast for. You can see our finished item with our operations and our routing in the center of the screen, as well as the component parts that would need to be purchased to go into this finished good. Let's navigate to our MRP display so we can see how the supply plan is telling us to purchase and manufacture based on our forecast. On the MRP display screen, we are seeing all of our just-in-time purchase and manufacturing production suggestions based on demand. We can use MRP to purchase across multiple warehouses or to purchase from different vendors and to understand what documents in the system are actually driving demand. Using the example of the forecast that we just entered, let's take a look at these selected lines. You can see that here we have the finished good that we entered the forecast for. Acumatica is letting us know that we need to manufacture 200 pounds of that item on the first of the year. Now, in order to create this manufacturing work order, we're also getting suggestions about the items that need to be purchased for that finished good. Based on lead times, we will need to purchase these items by the 22nd of December and take action on that date in order to have the item for our promised date of the first of the month, which is when we need to begin the manufacturing. Acumatica is allowing us to generate both the purchase orders for our finished good, as well as the production orders themselves. We can use grouping suggestions to place our items all in one purchase order if they're going to the same vendor, and we will see MRP refresh to display my new calculations based on the changes. We can now go through the process of sending our purchase orders out to the vendors and receiving them into inventory as they come into our facility. Planners can also use the exceptions list to get an understanding of any orders that might be late, should be deferred, or perhaps expedited or canceled altogether. This exception window can be defined on the MRP Preferences screen, along with settings about forecasting, master production schedules, and the overall grace period for replenishment parameters. For those looking for further flexibility on the MRP display or supply screen, you can use Acumatica's tools to filter down and modify the data. For example, if you just wanted to see your purchases and your replenishment for a particular warehouse, you can select that warehouse and filter your MRP to see those suggestions. The same applies for any parameter on the screen. If you only wanted to see your replenishment suggestions from one particular vendor, you can also use the column header to filter down on that vendor or even click Shift F on your keyboard, which will create a quick filter just as easily. Acumatica is well known for its ease of use and that certainly extends to the MRP module. MRP buckets can also be created and managed in Acumatica so that you can perform your MRP replenishments on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis as needed.
Acumatica's MRP module provides one centralized location to manage supply and demand. You can create purchase orders, production orders, and transfer orders based on multiple sources of system demand. Lead times are considered for just-in-time inventory management, helping you to keep your facility lean. You can manage material requirements across multiple warehouses and locations and use our built-in regeneration feature, which can be scheduled automatically.